There's a lot of things happening. It just depends on the type of networks. Because you know, DSC is like digital signage networks, but there's so many different types of networks, like retail environment, corporate environment, airports, advertising networks, and uh, there's various applications for all of these things. So, um, you know, for if I think about us, like you know, there's like edge blending. People trying to look at at using like short throw projectors because it's a lot less expensive than than uh, monitors, uh, and it does a great job. Uh, the multi-touch for retail environment, like you know, like the multi-touch application overlays where you can touch and because everybody's so used now to iPhones or smartphones and iPads and and that you know people walk up to a screen they just expect that they can put their fingers on it something's going to happen so a lot of people are using that multi-touch application in the retail environment so that you can see and look from shop uh, there's uh, edge blending so there's a lot of different application it just depends what your network is and, and what you need there's also a lot of people there's a lot of new things coming out to try to save costs because so Let's face it, saving costs is always very important. So the Android base players and with HTML5, and so, I mean, that's a, those are not as exciting, but for a business owner, obviously, uh, it's very important because you, 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 you know, as you lay out a new network, as you upgrade your network, you're going to try to focus on saving costs and having the right applications. Um, there's other technologies that, I mean, you'll see, I, don't, I haven't even had a chance to walk around the show yet because we, as soon as you walk in, and you're in our booth, so that's great. Uh, but uh, you know, curved displays and smart displays, and and a lot of those, I think, though, are more for because you know we're obviously a vendor, but we're also a customer. Like we have conference rooms and stuff like that. Uh, you know, you, you curved displays and smart displays is more for the consumer environment, like you know, in, in, with the viewing angle. And it's not like you want to have the bandwidth is such an issue in the corporate environment. Uh, you know, you're not going to let people go on YouTube and stuff like that because, I mean, that drains your bandwidth if you talk to a VP of IT or something like that. So, yeah, it, it just depends, obviously. For me, it's like the key to, you know, what type of digital signage network, because it's such a broad term. What type of network do you have? What's the technology that you need? And then there's a lot of new cool stuff, obviously. We have a lot of analytics in our booth. Like, you know, if you walk by, it's like, you know, there's the, the face recognition, obviously, which is like, uh, important and, and we have like a little shell thing there where if you pick up a box of cereal then it, it tells you what it is and and the price and promo and stuff like that so I mean yeah there's tiny it never it never ends think about it for end caps if you walk into Target if you walk into a Best Buy you know at an end cap and you get products there there's a little camera on top if you pick up a product the all the information comes out and this and that and then you you can touch with the touch application and get more information. So it's a lot of exciting stuff for retailers, but it's so much that it, you need people to really understand all that stuff. Because of what we just said, I mean, there are so many from a technology side, and then the, the, there's the whole content. I think, you know, we're gonna talk about the whole content side of it. Like, how do you design good content? How do you grab a tax, uh, you know? So there's the technology side, the content side, and, and uh, it's, it's really difficult. Uh, you need to do your research, you need to work with the right partners, and, and you know, I mean, there's, our, our competitors are good too, let's face it, there's a lot of good people in this industry, uh, but you, you definitely need to do your homework and have the right, you need to have a, a, a person in charge that knows what they're doing, that's critical. Don't get an industry analyst or an industry, like somebody that's never done anything, just talks about something. Um, I think, you know, sometimes a lot of people listen to all those buzzwords and all that stuff and they think that, you know, there's a lot of people can talk well about digital signage, but when it's time to execute, really, it, that's where it falters. You know, I, I think there's plenty of certification around, you know, whether, you know, they, like there's some, obviously, with, with our group here and your group, and, and it's like, um, I don't think the certification is, uh, and there, you know, there's content, classes, there's classes for everything. Um, I think it's like there's on the job training is what you really need. You know, I, I go back to my previous statement. I mean, you need obviously you need the, the background and you need the information and the education. Uh, but then yeah, you also need the people with some kind of an experience. It's like like when you're hiring somebody and you say, I want five to ten years. I mean, you know, I mean, in this space, it's hard to get five to ten years because it hasn't been around that long. But I, I guess time goes by pretty fast. I'm dating myself. but. Um, I think it's a combination of both. I, I don't think that adding more levels 
is really critical. Well, we, you know, we started a couple of years ago, we realized that a lot of content management software companies have great content, uh, but we realized we have a lot of smaller customers, you know, that want to do digital signage, like for lobbies or cafeterias or things like that. And, and uh, it's, it's like a one-stop shop, because we do a lot more, as you know, than just sell, sell screens. We, we're a full-service place, and, and uh, you know, the content is a good part of it. And, and it, it just, again, I go back to, it's like knowing the customer and knowing who they're targeting, because content in a place where people are in and out in 15 seconds versus content sitting in a doctor's office where somebody's waiting for 10 minutes, content in a retail environment, I mean, that's all different. So, uh, sound's a big, you know, we're, we're very big in sound sight and motion. Uh, sound is really important, critical, because sometimes that's the only thing you get to get somebody to look over. Um, so, it, it, that, that's the key. I mean, we, we, we've hired young people that didn't really know digital signage. They're all like, they're content creative people, but then they need to learn and you need to send them out and show them content and what, what's good content versus what's not good content and so that they understand. A content for an ad is very different than a content for digital signage. And uh, I learned that, you know, like we had just an experience like a couple of weeks ago, you know, we, our people are more focused on digital signage and we tried to make them build an ad and it looked like a digital signage you know, uh, piece. It didn't look like an advertising piece. So it's very, it, it's very different, you know. So um, it's, it, again, it comes down to knowing your audience and knowing the time that people are going to be there and if you're sound or not and, and, you know, what you're trying to accomplish. The biggest challenge is always in the content and doing it effectively. The hardware is like, you know, it sounds funny coming, talking from somebody that makes their living up. We, we do more than hardware, but like a big percent, obviously, of our business is hardware. And, and that's, you know, there's great hardware, there's medium hardware, there's entry level hardware, but at the end of the day, it's like, how do you relay your message? That's, that's the most important part. And it's in the content and understanding how that works and, and you know, the software players, the hardware players, and, and, and that's my biggest, I would say to people, you know, we'll help you. You tell me what you want to show and we can help you out with having the right message and making it look good and making it appropriate. And, and oh, by the way, those screens will stay up on the wall for five, seven years and they're not going to fail, but you know, that's, a, that's the second thing around. I think that that's the, the biggest message. We do extremely well, like in the QSR space, like the quick serve restaurants. You know, we have every McDonald's, every Burger King, every Dunkin' Donuts, they're all using NEC screens, but they're, they're not, they haven't rolled out their entire network because they franchise, there's corporate stores and franchisees. So, I mean, we get a lot of that business because it just keeps going. Like my, every Microsoft, Nike, re, Apple store, it's all, you know, uh, our products. But, I mean, it takes a while to do all the stores. So that's a big portion of the business. And then, then it's like, it's like the old story. Like the competitor walks in, you know, somebody walks in, Starbucks walks in or, or Panera Bread walks in and they see that, wow, Dunkin' Donuts is putting screens and this and that. So it's a, that's a new customer because they can't let their competitors get ahead of them because they look better. You look better if it's all digital with beautiful images and you have the right content versus like a static screen there that you got to go up and change and you know. So um, it's a combination of both. There's still a lot of business to be had. There's still tons of business out there. Uh, especially with the new application, so it, it's exciting. It's a, this is, you know, we do digital cinema projectors, we do projectors, we do medical monitors, we do all like anything that you can think of, and digital signage is still the most, probably the most vibrant, exciting part of our business because, um, you know, again, you can't let your competitors get ahead of you. Cool content, touching at touch application, it's this is still. The, it's the area of growth. I walk around our booth and there's people I've never met before and I look at the name tags and companies that are new to us and, and uh, you know, it's a, we have a great location, a great booth. It's like, it, yeah, it's a good investment for us, for sure. For NEC, it's fantastic. We do monitor business too. Like last year, we had our anniversary of our multi-sync brand and we had, a, it was the 25, 25th million multi-sync monitor but that was worldwide. But the, the U.S. is such a big portion. We're one third of, of the worldwide business. So that's just one monitor. 
And like I said, like we, we install like 27,042 inch at Burger King. I mean, you know, it, it goes really fast.